morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, March 14th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, tech, and science. But first, you'll be interested to know 145 years ago, today, In 1879, German-American physicist Albert Einstein, one of the most creative intellects in human history, known for his groundbreaking theories of relativity, was born in Ulm, Germany. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Midweek brings a steep-angled northwest swell and smaller South Pacific energy. Expect mostly clean conditions in the morning, with sizes ranging from waist to shoulder high. Thursday continues with northwest and selective south, southeast swells, promising waist to chest high waves, stronger in select spots. Early Santa Ana wind shift to moderate west-northwest onshores by afternoon. Thursday in Encinitas and North County, it's looking good and clean all day at two to three feet with a little wind in the afternoon. Best time to ride is at 9 a.m. with a one foot incoming tide when the southwest swell is one foot at 17 seconds and no wind. The first low tide Thursday will be about zero feet at 7 a.m. with a five and a half foot high tide around noon. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 60 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the Encinitas area. This morning, it's partly cloudy and 52 degrees with little wind. The sunset will take place at 6.56 and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.58. It looks like we're in for some sun with a high near 64 and wind of five to 15 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 53. Looking ahead in the weather. Friday offers mostly sunny skies and a cozy high near 62 degrees with south wind blowing at 10 to 15 mile per hour and gusts reaching up to 20. The weekend promises consistent sunshine with daytime highs gently climbing to 64 degrees by Monday while nights remain partly cloudy to mostly clear with lows gradually increasing from 53 to 55 degrees. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, sunny morning send you. In local news, a recent bill passed in the House of Representatives with bipartisan support aims to address security concerns surrounding TikTok, a popular social media platform owned by a Chinese company. The legislation requires the sale of TikTok to a U.S. company within six months to avoid a ban. However, the San Diego congressional delegation was divided on the vote. Concerns were raised about the bill's impact on freedom of speech and the precedent it might set for internet censorship in the United States. Critics, including representatives Sarah Jacobs and Juan Vargas, argue that the bill is a blunt instrument and not the right solution to potential security threats. (laughs) The debate highlights the challenge of balancing national security with the protection of free speech and the complexity of regulating foreign-owned apps. Now on to sports. The Indianapolis Colts have secured quarterback Joe Flacco on a one-year contract worth up to $8.7 million, with a guaranteed $4.5 million. Following a notable season with the Cleveland Browns, 
where Flacco was named NFL Comeback Player of the Year. He will now bring his experience to the Colts. Despite his preference to remain with the Browns, Flacco's move positions him likely as a backup to Anthony Richardson, the Colts' young quarterback who faced a shoulder injury last season. Flacco's signing comes after a season where he impressively turned his temporary stint with the Browns into a playoff appearance, signaling his potential value to the Colts' roster. And in more trade news, Calvin Ridley and the Tennessee Titans have struck a surprising deal with a four-year, $92 million contract, defying expectations amidst rumors linking Ridley to the New England Patriots. NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reports that the agreement includes $50 million guaranteed. This move comes after Ridley's tenure with the Jacksonville Jaguars, where he showcased his resilience and capability despite past challenges, including a gambling suspension and mental health concerns. This contract places Ridley among the top paid receivers, raising questions about the Titans' strategy given their apparent shift towards rebuilding and the age profiles of key players. Last night in the NBA, the Lakers on the road facing the Kings lost 120 to 107. And tonight, the Clippers are on the road to play the Bulls. Tip-off is at five Pacific time. In national hockey, the Kings on the road lost to the Blues three to one. In top news, using tap water for nasal rinsing, such as with nitty pots, can actually lead to dangerous infections. The CDC warns against the common misconception that tap water is sterile. Despite being safe for drinking and cooking, tap water contains microorganisms that can be harmful when introduced to sensitive areas like the sinus cavities. Research found instances where people developed life-threatening amoeba infections after using tap water in nasal rinses. The CDC advises using boiled, sterile, or distilled water for such practices, especially among those with weakened immune systems, to prevent severe outcomes like encephalitis, a condition with a high fatality rate. In business news, Coinbase Global stock has seen remarkable growth, quintupling since last June, driven by the cryptocurrency boom and the adoption of digital assets by financial institutions and advisors. Despite regulatory challenges, Coinbase's diverse revenue streams, beyond just trading fees, are seen as key growth drivers. Analysts believe the platform will benefit from the broader crypto ecosystem's expansion, including Bitcoin ETS, which have seen record inflows. While some express caution over the high valuation and regulatory uncertainties, the momentum behind Coinbase and cryptocurrencies suggests potential for further gains. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now up to $73,000. Ethereum is at $4,000. And Solana is $167. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. Keurig is introducing a groundbreaking innovation in the coffee industry with their new K-Rounds, a 100% compostable coffee pods designed for the upcoming Keurig Alta Brewer. Set for beta testing later this year and aiming for a 2025 release, these plant-based pods represent a significant step towards sustainability 
addressing the environmental concerns associated with traditional plastic coffee pods. The K rounds offer versatility in coffee brewing, capable of making espresso, regular, and iced coffee, thanks to their specialty grinds and sizes. However, to use these eco friendly pods, consumers will need to purchase the new Curigalta, as existing machines are incompatible. And in entertainment news, Venom 3, now titled Venom, The Last Dance, had its release date moved up to October 25th, ahead of the initially scheduled November 8th. This update comes as a surprise, especially after production pauses due to the actors and writers strikes. However, the film quickly resumed shooting following the resolution of the strike, similar to Deadpool and Wolverine. The plot details remain tightly under wraps, maintaining Marvel's tradition of secrecy. Though there's speculation about a multiverse theme linked to Tom Hardy's appearance in Spider-Man, No Way Home. Amid concerns following the underperformance of Madam Web, Sony's scrutiny on the new Venom is heightened, given the previous successes of the Venom series. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, in honor of Einstein's birthday, we'll hear a quote from the genius himself. He said, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends.